Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to my stream. In this educational tutorial, I'll be showing you after you put in your 16 gigabytes of RAM into your PC that's capable of 16 gigabytes of RAM, then I'm, I'm sorry, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Sorry. When I said 16, I meant 32 gigabytes of RAM. So now that you put upgraded your PC to 32 gigabytes of RAM, depending on your PC, if it was able to run it. My PC was able to run 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now, as you see here, uh, this PC is an old PC, but it works very well with 30 frames per second. Um, so, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use all 32 gigabytes of RAM without messing up your PC. The incorrect way is the virtual memory. The virtual memory is actually a bad way of actually installing RAM into your PC. But what you really want to do is work it to the fullest percent percentage to make your PC flying off the walls. This is how you do it. This is how you actually act, activate your PC and make it fly off the walls. So the first thing you're gonna do, oh yeah, this actually, I think I can actually run Overwatch 2 with this. I'm not sure. But if you actually, I, I just upgraded my PC to 32 gigabytes of RAM, right? And then I think RAM only costs like, maybe like 40 bucks for like eight gigabytes of RAM. And then you go to start, run, this is how you use your, your PC to the fullest extent. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Give me a second. I, I move my head all the way over here. So, start, run. Uh, and you type in misconfig, right? And then it brings you to this menu. Uh, mine is on selective loadout. Then go to boot, change options, max memory. I'm going to use all my memory because I'm fucking crazy. I really want to use all 32 gigabytes of my memory. So I'm going to put maximum memory. If I want to use more processors, I'll think about it. But I think using a lot of processors put a lot, a lot of like tensions on your PC. So I'll use the maximum amount of memory. If I need to use more processors, sometimes it's good to use more processors, but like, in my case, I'm just gonna use one. And I use the maximum memory of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Then, I have to use the maximum memory. I press OK. Apply. Now your PC is gonna be flying off the walls. Now, if, if I actually send you this tutorial, that means it worked. And I'm able to play any game I want to in 30 frames per second. Because this is not a graphics card. If you don't have a graphics card on your PC, you will not be able to run a lot of things at full speed. Or at full comprehension. But with 32 gigabytes of RAM, you can do anything. Welcome to the real life of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now, after doing that, I press OK. Restart. Now, if I have successfully reached out on my PC, and this is successful, I will upload this video up there and show you guys. If it was not successful, I would not put this video up there, but I think it's gonna be successful. So, if it's successful, I'm gonna be flying off the walls. I would, if you guys want to, I can show you After Effect, but I stream every day. So you gotta see me play, play bad games on this shit. But now I have 32 gb of RAM, as soon as I restart my PC. Good luck, guys. My PC is going to be flying off the walls. If I don't upload this shit, that means it's not flying off the walls. But I'm telling you, it's going to be flying. We have the best PCs. The best PCs are generally the older PCs. But if you want to grab a GeForce graphics server, it might cost you like $600. And it's okay to buy those, those cards. But if you're cheap, like me, you buy whatever the fuck you can afford. I have a 2060 as well, so I'm not I'm not only for Intel processors. 
I'm also for GeForce as well. But I sometimes I can't afford GeForce, so I decided to buy Intel. So I have one gaming PC and I have this one as well. And this one's super good. I'm telling you guys. It may not be able to stream properly, but it's super good. Alright, have a nice day. I'm gonna restart my PC now.